Tonight I'm making a bit of a vegetable chilli. Um, I was going to put these black beans in it, but I actually forgot to soak them. They need to be soaked overnight. I'm starting off by frying the onions. Then in with the onions, I've added a jar of passata and two more of water. And I'm going to put in all of this veg now. So I've got a red pepper, a courgette, some green beans and one clove of diced garlic. And then into this pan, I'm going to be adding some Italian mixed herb, some smoked paprika. This has got a really nice smoky flavour to it. And the chipotles are quite smoky as well, but they're going to add a little bit of warmth to the dish. And I've got some fresh coriander. It's looking a little bit sorry for itself, but I'm going to dice this up and add it into the pan as well. And Trevor is on his way home. He's actually going to bring in a can of kidney beans to add into this. So this has been simmering now for about 15 minutes and it's pretty much ready to go. Tonight I'm making orange and miso noodles. So I've just got some noodles in the pan boiling up now. I'm just chopping up this orange. I'm going to juice it. In here I've got my miso. Miso just lasts for ages. This was a giant box. I've had it in the Tupperware in the fridge for, I don't even know, four or five months? That's a long, long time. I'm just squeezing the orange juice in with the miso. Just mix that up kind of by smushing it against the side of the cup to make it into like a paste. And I'm going to add, you need a blob of sweetener in it. So I'm adding date syrup, but honey is fine or agave nectar and this is very thick still and the miso is quite salty so what I'm going to do is also add two tablespoons of boiling water just to thinen it thinen it thin it out a little bit this is um it's like the dressing so you want it quite thick but as you can see there's still a few lumps in there there is a bit of orange flesh as well and that's fine I don't have a spiralizer to make courgette with but I'm just doing some courgette strips just by using my potato peeler it helps if you've got quite a straight courgette for this and then you can have the part with the skin on, but I find it takes a little bit longer to cook. What I'm going to do is cut these into thinner strips and then dump it in with the noodles just before I drain them. And the skin pieces, they just take that little bit longer, so I'm just going to not add those. So I've drained my noodles and courgettes now, and I'm just adding the miso dressing. That's because I want to toss it with this while it's still in the pan. And then I'm just sprinkling it with pomegranates and a slice of orange. Tonight we're just having a smallish tea. We're having um, mushrooms in like a creamy sauce on these brioche um, hot dog rolls. These are some that I got from Morrison's. Just gonna slice those in half. I'm gonna fry up these mushrooms in some of my wild garlic butter. This is still the one I made back in 2015. And I'm going to add to that a little bit of celery, I've got some thyme from the garden and also some spring onions. And then I'm going to put some double cream in it and a whole load of wilted spinach. So I've got the mushroom and the bulb of the spring onion frying now in the garlic butter. I've added into here an extra clove of garlic because I didn't think it was garlicky enough. Salt and pepper, I've put in the thyme and the celery. And as you can see it's kind of starting to um, dry out now because mushrooms have got a lot of liquid in them. It's splattering everywhere though. Um, so you just want to let some of that liquid um, fry off really. And then add the cream. I'm just warming the brioche buns a little bit under the grill. And I've also added to the pan a big pile of spinach which I'm just going to let wilt down. So that spinach really does go down to nothing. I've just turned the heat off but left the pan on the ring. And I'm going to add the cream. It's very steamy. I find that the cream can split if you pour it into the pan while it's on um, a really high heat. So that's why I leave it on the ring. And at the moment, I, I obviously want the cream warmed through. But there's enough heat in the vegetables and in the pan and in the ring already to warm that up. I've got quite a lot of extra liquid in here. So I'm going to take some of it and put it into the rolls. These are brioche rolls. So they'll take a little bit. I've had them under the grill, so they're a little bit dried out. We might not need all of the um, the liquid, but it's nice just to put a little bit on so it doesn't get wasted and it makes that roll super moist. And the cream has got that garlicky spinach flavour to it, so it tastes really good. And then just a spoon on your filling right into the rolls. 
Oh, that one one's got all the spinach. Tonight I'm cooking these Anya potatoes. I've just dug them up from outside and given them a rinse off, so that's looking a bit icky. I'm actually doing them with um, leeks and mushrooms and I'm gonna do it in a blue cheese sauce because the blue cheese was on offer. Now, usually this recipe with the blue cheese I would do with kale. I would put kale with it, but I couldn't get any kale in the shops that was like a big long piece of kale it was already like pre-chopped and I don't like that because I like to take the vein out of the middle of it because that takes a lot longer to cook than the leaves so I, I wasn't able to do kale my kale outside isn't anywhere near ready just yet so I'm just chopping up the veg for now and then I'm frying them off in a mix of butter and oil and the potatoes I've just put those on the back rim they are nearly done now actually this dish would probably do best um, inside a jacket potato but you've got to go with what you've got on hand and I only have the annual potatoes growing. This is the pan that I did the potatoes in, I haven't washed it, there's still a little bit of a mark from the potatoes there and this is just a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of flour. I've turned this down to a lower heat, I'm on electric and it's on a number three. So I'm just mixing that butter and flour into a paste, you can see it bubbling up a little bit. We just want the flour to cook off a bit and then I'm going to pour in the milk. Just want to whisk it so there's no lumps in it and then keep it over the low heat and it will start to thicken. Once the milk is thickened it's just starting to simmer, I don't think you can see that but there's some bubbles just breaking on the surface, that's when it's ready to add the cheese to. So once that cheese is all stirred in so you've got no lumps, you want to add your vegetables into it. Mm, I should have put the tripod out for this I think. So it's all filled up now guys, I'm also serving it with some currant tomatoes which are from the greenhouse and it's good to go. I only did all of the meal prep today so it's the chicken and the sweet potatoes all you get steamed up there. 